Hi folks, Sandro here. Today I want to uh, talk about Photoshop Elements and specifically about setting up uh, your color management in Photoshop Elements. Let me just go into uh, the panel that you need to access uh, and then I'll get into the explanation. Uh, so to set up your color management you need to go to Edit color settings. Now I'm running Photoshop Elements 6 for the Mac here, but uh, uh, this uh, color settings panel you'll see in uh, uh, versions at least all the way back to 4 for both Windows and Mac, so uh, it may look a little different than what you have. Now first of all, um, if you uh, see anywhere you are in elements whether it's in a control panel or uh, even in tools over here uh, you'll see these little blue links under uh, underline links uh, which will take you to help pages for that particular function that you're looking at and I urge you to do this because uh, the help pages are uh, well they're helpful and um, and they should answer uh, most of your questions and show you the techniques you need to get the job done. Now, color management is important uh, when working with images because uh, the problem basically boils down to this. The camera sees colors differently than your monitor displays them, than your scanner scans them, than your printer prints them. Uh, what's uh, red to your printer changes. It's not necessarily the red that you see coming out of the scanner or coming out of the camera. Uh, it is. It can change depending on the inks that you use or the batch, the manufacturing batch of the inks or the type of paper. So it's a complex subject and at the very least what you should do is be aware of this color management window here in Photoshop Elements. Now I do not recommend that you choose no color management because then you're guaranteed to have uh, color mismatches. So um, basically in Photoshop Elements things are kept pretty simple in comparison to the regular Photoshop uh, and you have uh, really two choices. Uh, is your photo intended to be viewed on the computer screen and by that we mean whether you're going to show a slideshow of your images on your computer to a number of people or you're going to upload them to be viewed on uh, websites or from from browsers or email to be viewed on computer screens and this by the way also includes overhead projectors the RGB projectors we have in conference rooms Okay, so um, there's a certain treatment uh, that is applied, a certain color uh, gamut called sRGB, or space, color space sRGB. A lot of point-and-shoot cameras bring pictures in this uh, color space sRGB. The other thing is for printing. When you print to your home printer, your home inkjet printer, you want to use Adobe RGB. Your pictures will be set in this color space, which actually holds the gamut that uh, the, the, the size of the container, known as the gamut, that contains the colors is larger in Adobe RGB than it is in us sRGB. So, so that's why we have to choose what's appropriate. So, you know, you either come in every single time uh, depending on what you're doing and, and make these changes uh, or the other thing is to set this allow me to choose okay and um, this you will be prompted uh, which profile to convert to uh, if uh, the picture you open does not have a profile but in any case this is very important and you need to to uh, come in here often depending on on how uh, you're printing or, or, or if you're going out to the web. So very important, color settings under the edit menu. See you next time.